Hey, JJ, what are you doing with this column of water? Uh, we're going to do an experiment because we're trying to figure out what the relationship is between pressure and the depth in this water column here. Well, you know, I've heard like deep sea divers run into a lot of pressure, but I mean, this is just a few centimeters. There's not going to be any change in pressure in that, is there? Well, we'll find out. So we're going to collect some data using this wireless pressure sensor, starting from the atmospheric pressure in the air above and are working our way down to about 20 centimeters. Uh, and then we'll look at the data and see if we can. Figure okay. Out you say so. <laughs> okay. So uh, to start the experiment, we're going to collect our first data point, which is atmospheric pressure. Um, and so we've got this tubing connected to our pressure sensor and it's open on this end and connected to the pressure sensor there. So above the water, this is a depth of zero. So we'll go ahead and get the pressure measurement there. Okay, so 100.3 kilopascals. All right, now we're going to move this down until it's at a depth of four centimeters. Well, it's 100.7. That's about the same. Maybe you're right. And now we'll go to eight centimeters. Okay, it's definitely going up. And we'll go to 12. 12 centimeters. Yeah, there's a definite trend here. Hold on, go back. Okay. Go back, I, I made a mistake. Go back to four, click on the four. Wow, that's real easy to do with the capstone software. <laughs> um, let's do, try that. About the same. Okay, and now, this is eight. Okay. And now this is 12. Made a little difference. Okay. See, it's I important thought, to be careful. I thought I made a mistake. Now we're going to go to 16. 16. Yep. Okay. And one more at 20. And there's 20. Okay, that's all the data. I wonder what would happen if you were to graph that. Well, that's the idea in this experiment. Now that we've got our depth and pressure data, we can take that data in this file and graph it like you see here, and then go ahead and perform the analysis from here. So you can see what happens as the pressure go up, this linear relationship. I wonder though, what about this weird shaped thing here? Yeah, so the this water column that we had earlier, it's nice and uniform, it's straight, right? I would think the pressure would be more with this one because it like Cause sticks it, out or something. It's wider, there's more water down here at the bottom, right? Well. But until you measure it, you just don't know. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna drop it in there and let's watch the data value. Let's not, we won't record it, okay. but we'll watch it when we drop it in there. So atmospheric pressure looks about the same as it did with our tall water yeah, column. 100.3. And so I'm gonna drop this down to 20, so about, there's about 18 centimeters. Actually, you yeah. know what, let's go to exactly 16 like we did before, so we can compare. Yeah, it's the same as in the other column, you're right. Huh, interesting. So now you have the data, you can do the rest of the experiment. 